Thanks for being with us tonight on NBC 6 News. I'm Dan Jovic. And I'm Jackie Jovic. We begin tonight with continuing coverage. This is a story we've been following for years now, closing the gap on I-49 North. The last phase is a $500 million inner city connector. NBC 6's Alicia Gatewood joining us now live, sharing the latest on this project. Alicia, good evening. Good evening, Dan and Jackie. The proposed project will run through Shreveport's Allendale community. While many are for the project, many are also against it. I also spoke with locals today to see where the project stands now. The proposed I-49 inner city connector has only 3.5 miles left to go until it's complete. The project has been in the works for years, and lawmakers say it's time to finish the job. We're at a point now where the cultural study is supposed to be done. Now, I understand we're supposed to have some results by the end of the year. Commissioner Burrell says two-thirds of the project has already been built from Burkhoons at I-49 to I-20. It would bring in uh, much needed revenue into the city in terms of contracts, in terms of construction. We're talking about now, it, it started out as about a $300 million project. At this point now, they're estimating it to be $500 million. DOTD's role in this at this time is to, uh, you know, help produce, you know, the environmental impact statement. Eventually, um, if funding is ever identified for this, you know, obviously our role will be to manage the actual construction project. But we are talking about a project that is probably going to sit somewhere in the area of five to eight hundred million dollars. Although the project will shave off about two minutes of travel, Allendale leaders say the connector would do little to benefit the community. It's going to bring nothing but bad. It's going to drop uh, air pollution 1,500 feet on either side of a highway. It's hard to make an argument, a cogent, honest argument, that building a highway through a neighborhood is a good idea. It's not. Right now, officials are taking an in-depth analysis on all parts of the project and the community that will be impacted. Reporting live in Shreveport, Alicia Gatewood, NBC6 News. All right, Alicia, thank you very much.